Welcome back. Dr. Evil here, representing the Talking Shit podcast. Uh, the theme of today's video, the question that we're asking is, what is the red pill? A couple of weeks ago, I did a live stream with uh, Lewis Rossman on his uh, live stream channel. And uh, somebody in his comment section asked me uh, if I was red pilled. And they asked me what my definition of it was. So I think that it is a worthy conversation to have. Uh, it's a worthy question to answer. So what is the red pill? Well, I guess in modern popular culture, it is, I guess the way that a lot of guys or a lot of uh, detractors look at it is, uh, you know, men understanding female nature. That's not what it is. Um, it might be covered under the the principle of what being red pilled is, but that's not what the red pill is. If you want to take it back to the matrix where the phrase was first coined, you had a choice of a red pill and a blue pill. In the blue pill, he'd wake up like nothing ever happened. Everything, reality as he knew it would remain exactly the way it is unchallenged. But if you took the red pill, uh, you know, down you go the rabbit hole. In this context, what they're saying is a lot of your dearly, dearly held beliefs are about to be challenged. A lot of the things that you think are true, you're going to find them to be untrue. Reality is not as you perceive it to be. And what you do with that information, once you have it, is up to you. So in the context of how it is being used mostly in society today, they look at it as, well, we believe that women were infallible. Women don't lie. Women don't cheat. Women are these perfect, sweet creatures that men, you know, take advantage of and take for granted and abuse, et cetera, et cetera. And then when you become red pilled, you find out that women are no different than anybody else. They're just human beings. They make mistakes. Sometimes their intentions are not pure. Sometimes they will take advantage of the perception of purity and they will use it to they'll use it for their own gain and sometimes it might be at the expense of others now these are traits that we normally associate with men but in reality that's not really what it is and when you talk about the concept of red pill rage it is the loss of a dearly held belief when you find out that everything that you thought to be true isn't true. It has really nothing to do with female nature. It's about understanding the nature of reality, observable reality, the world that we live in. That's what it is. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example of a situation where somebody becomes red pilled. Somebody that I knew, they lost a parent in death. And they've always had a, a tight knit, close family. But after their parent died, They got to see a different side of a family member that they had a lot of trust in, a family member that, that they felt close to. And they were really upset when they were telling me the story about how, you know, this fight over assets and who gets what and what percentage, something that 
you know, she didn't really believe that, that this family member would be capable of. Faces red, tears streaming down her face, voice shaky. She was having a red pill moment. Not long ago, I thought I had a friend of a long, long time. And I realized that I valued this person a lot more than they valued me. That was a red pill moment. When you get hired at a company and they tout their company culture and how they are welcoming and how they're, you know, everybody's a team player and that the employer respects you and you put on their uniform and you wear that uniform proudly, you put your name tag on there, you, you, you know, if you're a customer facing employee, you show that there is a pride in your work attached to this company. You wear those company colors proudly. But over time, you start to see that what was sold to you was a facade, that there's a lot of politics, the managers playing favorites. They're telling you lies that if you work just a little bit harder, You'll get that promotion. And then you talk to somebody who's been there for several years and you say, oh, yeah, they tell that to everybody. That That's not real. That's not really how things get done here. That loss of fervor when you realize that the employer, the employer doesn't give a shit about you. That's a red pill moment. That politician that you root for, when you find out that they don't know that you exist, nor do they care, they just want your vote. And that disenfranchised feeling, that's a red pill moment. But on the flip side, You know, there are other moments as well where you find out that the world is not as dreary and gloomy as you were led to believe. That, too, is a red pill moment. When you believe that all of these members of the opposite sex are so horrible, and then you meet someone or some ones that aren't that way. And then you see the world through a different lens. That's also red pill. You see what I'm getting at here, people? The world is presented to you in a certain way. And many times, it's just a facade. It's a projection. People will tell you that things are black and white. Often varying shades of gray. For some people that have no hope, they find religion, that's a red pill moment. For some people, when they find out that religion is bullshit, that's a red pill moment. But what do you do with that? What do you do once you've gone down the rabbit hole and then you find out what life really is like what what do you do then that is going to be the mark of your character and that's where the red pill rage comes from you find out that things aren't what you thought they are and to hell with everybody fuck everybody i'm going my own way or you can continue to seek information You can understand what reality is and then find your place in that reality. Sometimes that red pill is going to be a positive thing. Sometimes it adds a burden. But you always have the power to decide 
what are you going to do with the information once the curtain gets pulled back and you find that reality is not what you thought it was.